ladies and gentlemen, hello. We are on the Go Home Show for CFG Warzone Royal Rumble, which will be next week here on twitch.tv backslash Catch Finish Gaming. I am Gabe Foster here with... I'm Jonathan Hero. And we're going to start off tonight hot because in our co-main event, we have a TV title match. And in our main event, we have Andre the Giant taking on none other than Jiggy Piper, the man that cost him a TV title. And we're going to start off the match, uh, excuse me, we're going to start off tonight with a normal tag team match. Are we going to find out any new tag teams? Hey, you never know. A normal tag know. team match. Huh. Let's see. Do we do normal? What? Do we do normal? Yes, we also do normal. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> um, do I get... It's going to be a first blood match. First person, you know, it'll be pinfall submission and first blood. Or knockout. Or knockout. <laughs> That's how we're going to do this one. So we're going to figure out a tag team. Which will be the team of, or an existing team of, oh wait, it's a new team, Ric Flair, Woo. the Nature Boy making his debut, We're getting a lot of uh, debuts going into yeah. the Royal Rumble. Yeah. His tag team partner though, is none other than, <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, Ric Flair's, oh wait, but that's the other, oh wait, this is the other team then, the other team, yeah. so the other team will consist of a, a descending team. Oh. The other team will be Brutus Beefcake and Triple H <laughs> taking on Ric Flair and <gasps> What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> we just figured out there's a new trio here. A new trio here <laughs> of Ric Flair Is and it is this waiver it Doug Basham <laughs> is this Y2 Woof it's a Y2 Woo no yeah Y2 Woof, Woof. yeah Y2 Woof this is a new this is a stable the first ever stable to be here yeah who needs the bullet cup for life when you're Y2 Woof, Woof. for life Y2 Woof as we know Doug Basham is your new tag team champion we'll be going into the pay-per-view this Sunday look at this man defending a TV or excuse me the tag team title with Chris Jericho against Hardcore Porn but can Ric Flair be a a good asset to their to their team? Well, they do. I mean, experience. Definitely yeah. Experience. I mean, this man has held titles, countless, countless titles. He's styling and profiling. Doesn't matter how old this man is, he will always. The real question is, how old is Doug Basham? <laughs> That's the real question. Are we counting human years or are we counting oh, dog years? Dog years. He's uh, old. Old. I don't think he's got enough time left. So calling the big dog. <laughs> he's a veteran. He's a veteran. <laughs> hey, here comes the big dog. Where's the dogs at? <laughs> As he knows that also his tag, or excuse me, his former tag partner and little brother, Danny Basham, will be on later to, excuse me, up next. Yeah. Actually. It's actually the, the TV, title. TV champion. Yes. We are on the go home show for the Royal Rumble. Ric Flair might be in the Rumble. Could he help out Doug and Jericho? Doug and Jericho might also be in the Rumble match, as or excuse me, along with their match, yeah. their match defending the titles. Yes. So mm. we see him to work in double duty. Yeah, they could. Or maybe only one of Y2 Doug, or excuse me, Y2 Woof will be in the match. That's true. That's true. Y2 Woof. <laughs> but here is a team that has been through a lot the past couple of days. They've been through ups and downs in the past couple of weeks. Brutus Beefcake and Triple H Beef him. We thought they were. A descending team. They still might be a descending team. But Beef Hammer has had a lot of miscommunication. Triple H yes. actually answered the TV title open challenge. Putting these two, pitting these two against each other. Triple H has lost the world title. Mm -hmm. But now Beefcake has lost the TV title. They're both at the bottom of the rut now. So you think that's going to be something that brings them back together? This match? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, th these two men have lost, you know... Lost their titles pretty quickly in a way. I mean, Pat Triple H just completely get decimated by um, Andre. Then you had Doug just decimated by a actual table match. Yes, you had a um, Danny Basham put so technically the table. So technically, there were quick matches in a way, and both these men just couldn't live up to it. They and couldn't live up to the hype. No, they were built up more than they should have been. Well, here comes the game. Triple, where is he? I'm sorry. He's not going to come out? Where's Triple H? Oh, there he is. 
<laughs> he, he almost lost his water bottle. He almost, right. Yeah, he had to grab his water bottle. Somebody was hiding. Nate was hiding it from him in yeah. Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> As Triple H looking to get back on a winning track before his world title match next week on uh, at the Royal Rumble. He could be walking into WrestleMania, or excuse me, No Way Out, as world champion. And maybe going to WrestleMania as world champion. We also have to think about this. What if Piper, if he beats Andre the Giant tonight, it could even be Piper. True. He has to worry about Piper as well if Andre doesn't beat him tonight. Yes, Piper could be put into that, make it a triple threat. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, will Piper do it? I, I don't know. I mean... Again, Andre's a dangerous man, knockout artist. He managed to beat the choker. And with a with the t- with that TV title uh, be put on the line tonight with Danny Basham, could Chris Jericho answer the challenge and become a Triple Crown champion tonight? You never know. Yeah, Chris Jericho, you can't even have Andre pull double duty <laughs> tonight. You know, you never know. It could even be his own brother. Pulling double duty, you can have trouble. Oh my god, it could be Doug versus Danny. You don't know, you know, we never know who could answer that. What if it's Roddy Piper? He goes into the main event with the TV title, and the hey. TV title gets defended twice in one night. Hey, you never know. Oh my god, that'd Every, be crazy. Anything, anything's possible. That'd be crazy. Anything's possible here tonight. That'd be insane. That means Andre would be walking into the Rumble if he wins with two mm-hmm. titles, like yeah. he was supposed to walk out with. Yeah. At no hope, mercy. I hope this doesn't happen to Triple H tonight. <laughs> so much can happen here so on Warzone, we don't know. <laughs> Unexpected Warzone. And we're talking about Ric Flair, Bruce Beefcake, two legends, two old men. <laughs> we gotta remember this: Ric Flair and Triple H go way back oh, that's true. to the Evolution days. Mm-hmm. So you think I'll get in Beefcake's head that Triple H is a close friend? Ric Flair is on the opposing side of the ring. And of course, I mean you gotta remember, you know, Triple H has huge respect for Ric Flair. Yes. And so on, so forth with Flair for Triple H. But at the end of the day, you're in War Zone. To make a name for yourself, you certainly just have to win matches. I mean, you have seen before. Look at Booker T. Yeah, what a time loser. and time again. Doesn't matter how entertaining <laughs> he is. Oh my he god, he still hasn't won the big one. It's crazy because if he won those matches, he would be a triple crown winner. Whatever. But he is a triple crown loser and doesn't and doesn't win anything ever. He is the biggest loser here in Warzone. That's true. <laughs> I see Ric Flair now grabbing Triple H and throwing him to the... Oh, no, excuse me. Triple H throwing Ric Flair in the corner. Ooh, look at that spinning discus. Missed here. It's Doug Basham taunting, as usual. <laughs> this is a new uh, a new uh, formation. What was that? A new formation here. Why 2 Wolf? Yeah, why 2 Wolf? As you can see, Doug Basham watching out. He's observing this, uh, this new member. This could be just a, a test for Flair, too, to see if, he can, if he's able... To be uh to hold up with the new tag team champions. Well, I mean, I feel like at the same time, I feel like he should. I mean, experience talks, and again, this man has won titles all over the world, and this man could certainly help him to become better champion. Yes, he could. Yes, he could. He's jumping over the ref now. <laughs> Triple H looks like he is holding back here against Ric Flair. Well, definitely. I mean, oh, oh, oh Ric Flair yelling, <laughs> yelling, woo. He needs to work on the leg to Triple H to hit that figure four. Goes over. Misses the big flare chop. He misses Triple H again. <laughs> it's not looking good here. Danny, or excuse me, Doug Basham needs to get tagged in. Oh, speaking, of, speaking of the devil. Oh <laughs> my god. Leg drop here by Doug Basham. Making sure that Rick's fine. Rick's okay. <laughs> Rick is fine. The, the Rick Club is fine. <laughs> that's, that's... Well, just kidding. I don't think so. <laughs> As we say that. Rick oh Flagg is pedigreed into the mat. Flair. Going for the pin. Going for the pinball here as Bruce Beefcake gets into the ring. One, two. Oh, Talk Doug Basham. Leg drop. Doug was barely able to break yeah. that up. Ooh. Well, this is the reason why Doug and Jericho are champs. Why are you whispering? Nah. <laughs> you're, you're not getting picked up. <laughs> oh, really? They're closer. There we go. <laughs> but again, I just, you know, that's why Doug and Jericho are champs for a reason. I mean, yeah. thanks to Doug. Ducks for sailing to here. I was really. This is his yard now. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. dirtiest player in the game, Ric Flair. Low blowing Triple H here. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Puts in the arm now. What's going on here? What's Beefcake doing? <laughs> <laughs> and Beef Hammer's trying to keep it together here. Can Beef Hammer keep it together against a newly formed team? I don't know. I mean, you gotta think about this. Like you said earlier, I mean. 
this whole thing with Ric Flair and Triple H, I mean, they know each other for a while, and I just don't think, I don't think that Triple H is really going completely all in. I don't think he is either. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. And Brutus just <laughs> lets it happen, too. Yeah, Beef Kick's not helping out Triple no. H here. Ooh, big chop. And another top as he's falling. Uh -huh. Flair not letting up here. Against Triple H. Throws Flair to the corner. Wrong corner, by the way. Yeah, I know. It's not going to help him out. No. Looking for the figure four. Oh. oh. You know, I heard he has a daughter. Does he? <laughs> yup. Does she... Oh, God. I don't think it's going to matter. <laughs> but he's too close to that corner, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. Duck can break that up easily. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Either that or... Gonna be a rope break. Oh, I guess not. He's just gonna pin him too close. One, two. Oh, that could have been it if Doug missed. Could have been it. Could have been Flair's, it. Cause look at Flair. Flair's hurt. Flair's, All right. And Doug One, wants more. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Flair is still hurt. <laughs> Doug Basham's not happy about no, Flair he's not. being on his team. He's not. He yeah, I don't not think, happy. I don't, think, I don't think we're gonna continue to see White Two Wolf. I know. I don't think White Two Wolf is a is a dead set. This was just a test. Oh boy. Oh, Doug missing the punch. That's Doug Basham now. It's thrown to the mix. The current one half of the tag team champions. Chris Jericho. Now tagged in Beefcake. Oh, he was ready for Beefcake. I never thought I'd ever see this matchup happen. The dog was ready for the beef. I didn't think I would see this matchup happen. No. With Beefcake and, and Doug Basham, two, uh, two superstars here. Oh god, puts him in the ear. Right in the ear. Oh! Oh my god! He suplexes Buddha's in the Triple H. Jesus. The power of the big dog here tonight. Definitely showing what he's made of. You can see Doug Basham now. Oh, test of strength here. Will the dog be bigger than the beef king? Yes, <laughs> Than so. the gangsta. <laughs> you see Doug Basham now getting the upper hand here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are seven days away from the Royal Rumble. There's just two months out from uh, from Mania after that. Yeah, that is true. Oh, Brutus Beefcake. Oh, but gets stopped by Doug Basham, but then gets reversed again by Beefcake. Ooh, oh, my big punch. Goodness. Beefcake could be looking for his, uh, his finisher here. It is a sleeper hold. Yeah. Sleeper. Oh, no. Reverses Doug Basham. Oh, oh my God. God. Nakamura strats. <laughs> the low blow of Beefcake. We're seeing a very hard-hitting... Beef hammer. Was this like an awakening almost for them? I think so. I What's mean, what's happening here? <laughs> so we're seeing a lot of a lot of hard hitting moves here from them now. I feel the aggression they have towards each other. I mean, they're gonna use it against their opponents, and I feel like, you know, that that's kind of healthy in a way for them as a team. Yeah, it is. Maybe they needed that growth and that yeah. that little argument oh to set them God. to set them back in place. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you never know. They could even go for the titles. Yeah, they could go for the tag team championships. Yeah. Oh, both misses a big punch. Eight minutes left in this match. Remember, this could go to a time limit. It's true. You can see a kick to the leg here of Ric Flair. Flair fights him off. <gasps> figure four! We got a figure four here! Ooh! Woof! Woof! <laughs> He's calling the Doug's dogs here. Oh, 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 but his legs are nowhere near her uh -huh. enough. First move to be put in, but Triple H is still worried. Yeah. The beefcake. But as you saw there, he didn't necessarily hit Flair. Yeah. Beefcake now. <gasps> Beefcake gets a sleeper. He gets Flair with the sleeper. Doug needs to get in there and sit, break this up. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. My God, I'll never get sick of that kick. <laughs> that is an insane move. Oh, my God. Trips Beefcake. <laughs> that was insane. Oh, tagged in Triple H now. Now, Triple H is going to get caught with the figure four there. Ow! Oh, God. Right there, is fat. <laughs> <laughs> kind of absorbs it. Woo! <laughs> That's Flair now. Flair chops to the chops back the of the back. head. Jeez. Have you ever been chopped in the back? No. Ooh. I don't think I want to. I don't think anybody wants to. Triple H now. Looking for a pedigree. Oh, As he no. grabs him. Got him. Pedigree! He needs to bring him closer, though, to his side. Pedigree! 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 <laughs> Jesus! Oh, my oh goodness. Oh, my God. Almost gets knocked out. 
He almost oh got knocked God. out. One, two. Oh, oh my Doug God. Basham. Doug Basham for the safe once more. Does this match have first blood on? Yes, it does. I forgot about that. First blood, knockout. Oh, misses the shoulder block. That's Flair. It sends Triple H to the outside here. Match going to the outside. Oh, boy. Doug Basham. Doug Basham here. Gonna help Triple H. Rich. Oh, oh my what just goodness. happened? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Maybe Flair's drunk. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think he is. Oh my god. Oh, figure four on the outside. This isn't going to do anything for you, Rick. He definitely is drunk. He's I don't not going to do anything for you, Rick. The drunk Flair. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, he has Triple H's legs on the outside. Is he going to go by count out? 14. 14. I guess not. Oh, they're both in. <laughs> They count of 14. Tosses him over. Doug Bashman has a finisher. Watch out. Where does Beef kick gets in the ring? But the ref, the ref is distracted here. The ref is distracted. Oh my He's god. He's getting him. Figure four. Doug Basham Brutus just. Beef kick. That was Doug. Now Doug Basham, the ref can't see anything. Brutus, not in the ring yet. Brutus needs to break this up. Oh, oh he got the rope. God. Just barely got the. Oh god. Oh my god. His legs, though. His legs are hurting. Or Triple H ha does not have any good quads. No, he doesn't. Or both of them. <laughs> like a plenty dream. of times before. A oh, rake in the face here. Of Triple H. Triple H not looking good. You gotta think, it will not be good if Beefcake gets in this ring. This it'll be harder for Triple H to run. Oh, to break up true. a pinfall. Yeah. So he can barely get up. Oh, Flair Flair. hits him with another figure four. That might be all might she be wrote. It. He gets him in another one. I don't know, I mean, Rick Get doesn't feel that good neither. Oh, big chop, and another big chop. Oh They're not going for figure four, though. No. Surprisingly. Oh, here comes Doug Basham, he's fresh. Okay. Not that fresh. Oh, Flair kicked him in the leg. <laughs> Flair working on the leg, okay. <laughs> yeah, Doug Basham. Doug Basham, will he get a pin on a former world champion? Yeah, I mean, I, I think he could. <laughs> oh, I think he's God. able to do it. Doug Basham. Doesn't Falling. get Triple H. Oh, he's trying to, though. Yeah. Could he get him in time? That's smart, though. Now, here's the thing. Look at Triple H's leg. He can't yes. run. And Beefcake is probably a little bit behind him, too. Yes. Four minutes remaining in this contest. Beefcake. Remember, Flair's head is hurt also. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Clocking Doug Basham in the face. Crazy right hand. Oh, another test of strength here. And as always, the big dog always comes out on top. Oh. <laughs> oh, connection here by a uh, by Beefcake to the gut of Doug Basham. Oh, gets over him. Doug Basham is over. Oh, oh. went for that crazy kick again. I love that move. I love Doug Basham. Yeah. <laughs> Beefcake got a little distracted by Flair. When will Beefcake learn? When will he? When will he learn? You Ain't cannot beat a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly not. This is animal abuse. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Oh! Part of the state laws. Oh, armbar! But Beefcake not able to tap out. Oh Doug my! Oh, oh, I thought he hit Flair. Flair just got out of the ring. Oh my goodness! Just in time. Where's Beefcake going for Doug once more? He needs to tag Flair in this ring because Beefcake's legs are hurt. Oh, definitely. With three minutes remaining in a match, he's gonna have to go to a submission here or pinfall. I believe a uh, bleeding and knockout is out of the question here. Oh. I mean, you never know. Uh, I don't know. Flair got hit with that pedigree and almost got knocked out. Yeah, that's true. It was almost like W in the column oh, for no. Beef Hammer. Oh, no. Oh, reverses him. Doug Basham <gasps> gets hit. Oh, sleeper hold. Sleeper hold, sleeper hold. Oh, he's wait. He has not hurt enough. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. Flair. <laughs> Flair just loves to destroy legs. The dog's head is not okay. So he tags in a man whose head is even yeah. worse. <laughs> As one does. Oh, God. Tossin Flair. Goodness. <laughs> With ease. Oh, my God. Drop kick. Oh, Where's misses Beefcake? the Triple H flying knee. Oh, God. Beefcake. Oh, my goodness. He's hard hitting in this match. Yeah. This is a new Brutus Beefcake we're seeing here. That we Quite saw aggressive. last week. Woo. Oof. What's going on oh here? My oh, my God. God. <laughs> Doug Basham. Not letting him get a submission on Flair. Where is Doug going? Back to his corner. Okay, here we go. 
Oh, another oh big chop God. here. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh. Now working on the head of Flair who has a hurt head. Oh, throws oh. him in the dug. Oh, <laughs> smart move here by Beef. Okay, <laughs> by Beefcake. <laughs> Doug runs away. Doug once better watch more. out. He's gonna knock out his own partner here in the last minute and thirty seconds. Oh my God. Oh my God, Flair now. Oh, gets him. Doug has to make sure that Triple H doesn't come in. <laughs> Woo. Flair gets up in a figure four, two, three, Perfect four. Perfect spot. So many figures. Where is Triple H? Oh my god, he's too slow, he can't run. It's not His that he's legs. slow, he also oh, doesn't want to hurt Oh, Flair! He also doesn't want to hurt Flair. Oh, Flair! Low blow! Low oh blow by Flair! Goodness. Taking notes from Beefcake and Triple H. Oh, but Beefcake gets up, sleeper hold! Sleeper oh hold, but he's in the corner god. with Doug Basham! Oh my Holy goodness. Tap. Oh, the kick is amazing! <laughs> Oh my god. The best part is he just looks triple Everybody A. Everybody is there. hurt. Everybody's leg and head hurts in this match. Oh god. Oh so god. We are at the last 39 seconds. Well, technically, three people are hurt. One person is old. Very true. <laughs> it's Doug Matcham. <laughs> oh god, where did he <laughs> come from? <laughs> oh, he almost got knocked out by that. 25. One. One. Two. Two. Oh my god, that was almost a three count. We had 20 seconds left. Nobody's getting up. God. Oh my god. The war of attrition here in this match. Oh my god. Almost 10 seconds on the clock. Oh my god, Bruce can't get up. Nine, eight, seven. Oh, Flair. Oh, roll six, up. One, five, two. Four. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a way. What an ending to that match! What a clipping! <laughs> oh my god, that was insane! Now these men have to be sent to the back. Yeah. They continue to fight, and we're past like two yeah, minutes, and they were still they, fighting. They were still fighting. We had to send them to the back, and just lost complete control. Oh my god! Tag team division's insane. It's wonderful. Well, now it's time for the little pup, Danny Basham. To put his TV title on the line in a match he's a specialist in, a table match. A table match. <laughs> he is a specialist in this match, so you think he was should he should be fine, right? Hopefully, I mean every single time we say that, person loses except he Kane. He should be fine. He should be fine, right? Hey, will he be the first person to defend in a table well, this match? Is, this all depends on who he has to fight. <laughs> hey, Kane has done it before. Very true. Very true. Let's see. Where is Danny Basham? <laughs> oh, here he oh, is. There he is. He was hiding behind his brother. Danny Basham will be facing none other than... Drum roll, please. <gasps> the first ever Iron Man, The Rock. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> the table match. You must slam your opponent through a table to win this you match. You can't throw a rock can't at a pup. Your... <laughs> what can a pup th put a rock through a table? <laughs> Here on Warzone. <laughs> These are the questions that need to be answered. <laughs> and here comes the little pup himself. Danny Basham, your current TV champion. Just the underdog story <laughs> for this man. He's an underdog story. I mean, hopefully he continues on. and From the shadow of his brother to facing The Rock <laughs> on a go-home <laughs> show for the Royal Rumble. In one week. And he's the champion going he's in. He's the champion going in. <laughs> it's been a great seven days for this man. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean... His brother finally respects him now. Mm -hmm. The crowd slowly respecting this man. Yep, they're both champions. Supposedly I heard in the back that if he loses here tonight and his brother's still here, he's going to disown him as a brother. Wow. Wow. I don't know why. Because <laughs> he has he has Jericho. It's his best friend. Yeah, but it's the same and time. And what's going on with Ric Flair? Is that like their grandfather? Like, like two wolf? <laughs> is he the owner of these dogs? What is the relationship between Flair and Doug Basham? <laughs> Here comes the first ever Iron Man. The only second Iron Man was Edge. Yeah. A man who won 5-1 to one in his match. I no, 6-1. It was 6-1? Yeah, 6-1. I thought it was 5. No, 6-1. Really? Yeah. 6-1. to one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Kendra 6 Kendra Rock one. went 4-3. and three. Yeah. He actually it beat is. The Rock's record. He beat The Rock's record. Yeah. He but The is. Rock might be TV champion going yeah. into the Rumble. So technically, he's not an Iron Man anymore. 
I mean, technically he is, but now he's not the the Iron Man. He's just the Rock. And the he might Rock. Be the TV champion by yeah. the end of tonight. Can't be the Iron. He's the, the Iron Rock. TV champion. <laughs> now he's getting match. the gold. Once you have an opponent knocked on the table, get on it and slam the opponent through the table by using a grapple move. There we go. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> also, didn't work that well. Getting better every week, man. Yeah. Getting better every week. All right. <laughs> Does it have to be up for that long now? <laughs> Look at Ric Flair getting put on the table by Edge. Yeah. Speaking of table. And who's going to get a table first? None. <laughs> oh, nobody. Oh. <laughs> it's no. Just a little pup. Danny Basham. Oh, God. Knocks table. out the rock. Oh, oh my God. God. He has a message to send here, okay? Yeah. You're facing the rock, all right? Yeah, that's true. This isn't just, this isn't, you know, just anybody. <laughs> this is the rock. Yeah, because he, he wants to end this match. Wouldn't you want to end this match? That's true. Oh, no. T oh, having TV no. titles like a curse almost. That is true. Oh, no. And we might be shown why that, that it's a curse. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> and no. as usual, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new TV champion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just we thought. That poor little pup, Danny Basham. And oh, he's wait, now wait, Doug, oh, I heard Doug's been throwing stuff around. <laughs> Doug disowns Danny. He's finally disowning Danny. <laughs> Triple three, Doug disowns Danny. Danny. <laughs> oh, no. Doug disowns Danny. Well, time for the main event. All right. And The Rock is your new TV champion. It's time for the main events before the Royal Rumble. This will be the last match you see before the Royal big Royal Rumble event next week. Make oh. sure to catch it next week on the CFG Network. Twitch.tv, Backhouse Catch Finish Gaming, and it's sponsored by who? Goya. Goya? Goya, man. Goya. Goya. Oh, my God. The best mattresses in town. Yes, Goya. definitely. The best mattresses in town. Well, I think Goya. Doug likes it so much. Sleep on a Goya mattress. They're the best thing you'll ever lay on. And this match will be a normal match. <laughs> All right. All right. A normal main event here. Okay. That's... As we as we know, let me take the first foot off. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep knockout on because the knockout artist is in this match. All right. It will be none other than Jiggy Piper. Jiggy Where Piper not acting too jiggy lately. No, he's been getting he's a lot serious. Turned his back on the fans. Yeah, he's getting serious. A couple, about a month ago, actually. Yeah. We haven't seen him for a month. It's been a while. It's been a month since we've seen He still Jiggy hasn't Piper. explained himself. Maybe. Yes. Well, tonight, he faces the world champion, Andre the Giant. Andre Giant's been on a rampage, beating oh, Chris Jericho, beating Triple H, beating Abyss, beating Chris Benoit. Could but, he beat Roddy Piper? Hey, maybe he could, but there is one man that will always be in Andre's mind. The one and only Brutus Beefcake. Very, very true. Will the Jiggy Man himself enter himself in a world title opportunity? Or will Andre the Giant... Slay Triple H once again at the Royal Rumble if he can. Triple H might be prepared this time. Yeah, and I feel like he should. I mean, but here's the problem. Problem is, he's prepared for Andre, but he's not prepared for the one and only Jiggy Piper. Very, very true. But as we know, uh, this match, if you guys don't remember, is happening because Andre the Giant fought Brutus Beefcake on the Go Home Show for No Mercy, mm -hmm. where Beefcake won due to Roddy Piper costing Andre the TV title. Exactly. Which made Bruce Beefcake the longest reigning TV champion in history so far. Yeah. And the only person to ever retain the TV title. Yeah. But now Andre has given him the opportunity to possibly enter himself in a world title match. That's really nice by Andre. He's a nice man. Yeah, he's a nice, he's a nice he's a yeah. big he's a big nice boy. Yeah. <laughs> but he might not be nice in the ring tonight. No, definitely not. <laughs> when it comes I mean, to facing Piper, this man has pissed him off. Definitely, I mean, he's he loves knocking people out left and right. Yes. Clearly he did it with Triple H. Clearly decimated Triple H. Okay. Send Piper into oblivion. He also destroyed Chris Benoit. Yes. Very Send true. him into oblivion, basically. Yeah. Very true. We haven't seen Jericho uh, after that until he won the TV title. So, you know, he kind of had a little slump yeah. in that little transition period. So that's Triple H. He's gone through a little slump. Yeah. But Andres has been riding high. Even after yeah. his loss, he bounced right back and won yeah. the world title. Right after. <laughs> and ever since then, he's yeah. just been on a rampage. He beat a crippler. He beat a. Oh God! <laughs> he beat. Jesus. Who else did he beat? He beat a, a, a former world champion. He's huh? beaten the world champion, the past yep. world champion. Just what's left for this man? He's done everything. Listen, I feel that if he wants to really cement the fact that he's a true champ, 
I'll probably have him in a match against the one only Bruce Beefy. Honestly. That, so, so he can prove to everybody that he's the one and only. That is the man getting away from Andre the Giant. Brutus the Beefcake. Brutus the Beefcake. Brutus the Beefcake. Brutus the Gangs the Beefcake. It's the one thing eluding Andre's career. The one thing that's gotten away from him. Piper now. Taking out Andre. Oh, punches Andre in the face here. Mm -hmm. You gotta think, with uh, when Piper interfered, can he lift him up? We know Ben Wall was able to. No, he is not. He's only Ben Wall so yeah. far has been the only person, so far. as of today, to pick up Andre. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Let's move that through Jericho into the ring poster in that oh. cage match. The Piper, all oh, raking the eyes of Andre the Giant. Remember, his finishing move is picking up a man. I don't think he can do it to Andre. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, kick to the back here of Andre the Giant. Yeah, I know his finisher. He has to lift up his opponent. Yeah. I believe it's also a sleeper hold. That is also true. So, he could also hit that to take down the big man. We know mm -hmm. that's that's been the, the known thing to do. The Andre, smartest thing to do. Andre's struggling here, though. Oh, my God. Not anymore. That headbutt. Oh, oh he Piper misses. reverses him. Oh, Andre's just too big of a man. Yeah. To slip out of that. Pinfall here. Oh, he's in the ropes, though. Oh, my God. Just punching Piper. Piper has the upper hand in this match this entire yeah. time. But Andre now, he's in the driver's oh, no. seat. Oh, no. And Piper, no, reverses him. But Andre's able to slip out of it again. Tossing Piper across Jesus the ring. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is the type of dominance you see by our world oh, champion. No. He's going to sit on him. Boom. Oh, my God. And with ease, one, two. two. Oh, oh, Piper kicking out of hey, Andre's Piper's finisher. a fighting champ. He's been fighting champ before. It's a fighting man. I mean. I think I think he could beat Andre here tonight. He could, he could. Oh, God, but not when he's getting tossed around like that. Oh, Piper with the best for resiliencies here in the company. Yes, besides uh, Lance Storm. That's true. Andre again reversing Piper. Piper now fighting back. Trying to get away from Andre. But Andre's slinging him off the ropes. Jumping over him. Andre's pretty quick as well. Letting him run it. Oh, oh nice by goodness. Andre. Sending him to the last minute, picking him up. Look for a choke slam here. Yep. Yes, he is. He's Big. too close this to those what, ropes. This is what won him the world title. Pinfall. One, two, and this man. This man is probably the most dominant yeah. superstar in Warzone ever. <laughs> As of now, yes. I mean, this man has completely destroyed the non-jiggy Piper. Yes, but one man still eludes. Still eludes Andre the Giant, and that is Brutus Beefcake. And I think this is why now you saw Triple H and Brutus Beefcake together. Yeah. Just to mess with his head. Yeah. But we'll just have to see him win. We'll have to see at the Royal Rumble in seven days. Remember to catch it here at 6 p.m. on Twitch.tv backslash Catch Finish Gaming. It will be the Royal Rumble. It's going to be big, ladies and gentlemen. A big 30-man event. And we hope you're all there to enjoy it with us. Yeah. For Gabe... And Jonathan, we will see you guys next week.